Hello everyone. In the previous tutorial, I talked about some basic uses of the TM1637 4 digit 7 segment display, where I showed the use of that display in making a simple digital clock with the help of a DS3231 LTC module. And in that tutorial, I also told you that I was going to make another video where I will improve upon that kind of lock that I showed you. Because in that clock, I was only showing the time and nothing else. So in today's video i would like to show you an improved clock using the ds3231 rtc and how we can go about that so in today's video i'm mainly going to show you the kind of clock that we can make here so in this clock i'm, in, I'm including four buttons and what this is doing is sim it's a simple alarm clock in other words with these al buttons you can be able to set the alarm to a given time and when that time reaches the alarm will sound in our setup here this is the ds3231 rtc then i put a simple bar that acts as my alarm then these four buttons this first button here is going to be used as a set button so which you when you press this button you enter the alarm set mode then i use this these two buttons for setting the alarm one is for setting the hour and the other one for the minute and then this other button is the exit button whereby if you press the set alarm time will be saved and then the clock will go back to the normal time that was being displayed so now let me demonstrate how this clock works so for example here if the time is 4.09 now to enter the alarm setting mode i'll press this first button here then i'll enter the alarm set mode then i'll use these other two buttons to set the minute and hour that i want my alarm to be so i can press here I can set it to around maybe it was four. Maybe I can set it to four. Four eleven. Okay. Now I've set my time at uh, four eleven. Now it is fourteen. So the moment it reaches four eleven, the alarm is expected to sound. So let's wait and see. So as you can see, it has been set to four eleven. Now the alarm is sounding. So if you don't interrupt the alarm, it will go on for one minute and then stop. But in case you want to stop the alarm, you press this exit button and the alarm will stop. So that's how the simple alarm is working. Then you can even improve upon this code so that you can be able to manipulate the clock further. Let me give you what I mean by that. I can make this clock more interesting now by changing the code a bit. And in that code, what I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using some combination of buttons so that I can achieve better control. So in this case, what I want to do is to have the ability of okay, changing the time on the RTC and even using the alarm. And that code is going to be provided in the link below. So I've now changed the code. And as you can see, here we have the current time is 2.30. So in case you want to change the time, maybe to another time you want, maybe you can you press the first button and the third one. Then you can be able to change the time you can either increase here for example if i want to change it maybe to let me put it at one one ten then you press the third button now it means that becomes the current time that is being shown on the clock and even the time that is being stored in the rtc so even if you power the system off and you put it back the time will begin counting again but now this will be the current time that you have set so you can also set the alarm using two buttons maybe i press the second and third button here then i enter the alarm setting mode and in that mode i can either change again so i said let me set it at one it was 10 let me set it to 112 then you press the third button now enter the normal time so it means now when the time reaches one talk the alarm is going to go off so let's wait for that time to reach and then we see what happens so you can now hear the alarm because it's not the time so when you want to remove the alarm you press the last button here and the alarm goes off so that's how that works and maybe something else i can talk about is how to change the mode that you are in for example, if you're in the time setting mode and you maybe like press the first button and third button, you enter the time setting mode. Now, if you're in this kind of mode and you maybe you don't want to set the time and you want to go back to the original time, you just press this exit button 
and then it goes back to the normal time the same will happen if you are in the alarm setting mode if you press this alarm setting mode and then you want to go back maybe to the original time and you didn't want to set the alarm you just press the exit button and then it goes back to the original time so that's how this clock works i'll put a link in the description below where there is code and then even other material and detailed explanation of how this clock works you can go and check it out and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to like and watch my other videos thanks for watching